I love the origin of the word mentor, right? It really goes back to Greek mythology when uh, Ulysses' son Telemachus didn't have a father figure because Ulysses was out and about on his journeys. So yeah, the first mentor, I have fond memories um, as a junior college transfer student uh, at UC Davis and uh, attending my very first LMSA at the time, or CMSA at the time, a uh, statewide conference. And I got to tell you that even though I didn't know at the time, my greatest mentor of all time is really God. My first mentor, you know, was from Madera, California, Luis Flores, who's a second year medical student. And he was um, a mentor in that he was somebody that I could relate to. Well, my first m mentor was actually my mom and dad as a collective. We all um, progress through example and inspiration. and. Sometimes a very definite modeling, right? I'm a firm believer that in education, you really can't move forward unless you have somebody to point the way. Well, for me personally, as I've described, the Latino community during the process of becoming a physician is critical. Well, frankly, when we started NGL, the first time uh, we looked at national numbers, there were Believe it or not, a total of 20 Mexican-Americans entered U.S. med schools in the whole country. So I think the challenges have been quite clear in terms of looking at the daunting numbers and the lack of representation from our community. And for minority students, it's completely different. Uh, a lot of minority students don't have anyone that has gone to college, don't know anyone that has gone into medicine. Yeah, you know, when I first got here in 1995, there, there were not many Latino physicians around in academics. There, there were Latinos in the community and certainly still are very powerful forces in the community, but, but in the sort of ivory tower of academia, there are very, very few. In my opinion, we have a responsibility that continues beyond medical school. And my hope is that as we move forward together with larger numbers of students and health providers, that we stay connected so that we can find balance in our lives and that few aren't put um, in a position to have the most responsibility or to become burnt out. I think even if we don't have uh, parents that went into medicine or gra grandparents or great-grandparents, I think LMSA provides that for uh, Latino students. It provides those role models, provides those uh, avenues to uh, expose uh, students really early on. The success is, in my estimation, have been chiefly around um, inspiring other students to be successful. There's always, um, there's always will be issues relating to our community, whether it's related to public health or policy. But we clearly have a harvest of patients, right? And the laborers are still few, right? And so we need a lot of people to go out. We have sustainability. We have a future. We are on path to do more we're making a difference, that our students are learning leadership skills, they're learning how to work together, how to network, um, and the common denominator is our community. And to be better and bigger and more dynamic moving forward with the leaders of today at this meeting. I would challenge students to remember where they came from and remember where they've been on that journey, all those moments of doubt. It is really uh, important not only to have medical students involved, but also faculty attendings that are many years out of, uh, out of medical school to continue motivating students and to continue um, uh, inspiring them to, to pursue a career in medicine. I think a lot of students don't recognize how much influence they really have, uh, and that's fine. Um, but I think it's important to, to help folks recognize that it's important in their career that they can be a force. The 
quite honestly, it's not just for patients who are Latino. Right? It's other patients of color, even patients who are majority, so-called majority patients, right? We serve them and we serve them well and we're leaders and we bring a very unique perspective as we try to go back and think about the needs of our communities and, and to serve them the best we can. Mm -hmm.